Hi guys, it's Emajiri again with Spirit of Twilight, and today I wanted to do uh, another book review. This time it's going to be on one of my favorite books of all time that I recently read for the first time. Um, it is Better Than Stang and Sword by Christopher Arpello and Tara Love McGuire. So, um, let's talk about that. Okay, so let's talk about this incredible book. And I say that because outside of my regular reading, which is Devin Hunter, Matt Oren, um, Shaz Bowen, and Storm Fairy Wolf, <clears throat> this book struck me like a bolt of lightning. This was a book that I read in two days <laughs> because it's just that good. So, um, this is a very forward-thinking book and it is a book that captivated me so much that I considered joining the Black Tree Coven which is associated with this book and is associated with the authors. So, um, just to give you some details about this book, and oh, before I forget, this book was recommended to me by someone who is also, um, in my magazine, Spirit of Twilight magazine. He was the first person I ever interviewed in the magazine. So this is like January 2020 that we're talking about. Um, and I just can't believe that I downloaded this book to my Kindle almost a year ago and I never picked it up. And I think it was because of the videos that this person does on Instagram intimidated me a little bit. So I didn't want to pick up the book so I'm like, yeah, I'm not ready to learn that yet. But to my surprise, <laughs> this book was like amazing. Just amazing. I I loved it with all my heart and soul. I really did. Um, the Black Street Coven goes into several different things. It's a very non-religious forward-thinking book that has a lot to do with spells, crafting, and visualization. So... <laughs> There's a lot of information based on witchcraft and its primal roots. And by the way, I'm looking at notes, so don't mind me. Um, they go into different plants, including plants that you should not take within or consume. Same thing with incense. Please do not burn these herbs or burn these plants if so instructed within the book. Um... It goes into a lot about uh, animism, great detail in folk magic, which I really appreciated because, like um, Chaz's book, um, which I don't have on me, that's why I gave it away, um, but I do have it on my Kindle, um, the, I made a video about this too. The something keys of conjure, I forget what it's called. Um, anyway, it's the same type of of magic and 
spells that you can incorporate into your own practice, but some of this, the way that the authors of this particular book incorporates literally everything, and I mean everything, in a non-religious way, and also mentions, along with folk magic, hedge witchcraft, which is something that you really in my opinion, don't find that much anymore. Um, they also talk about how to to create a circle. But they talk about the difference between ascending, descending, creating a circle, and using the visualization that you should use in order to contact the witch king or the witch queen, which is associated with with sun and moon, life and death, dark and light. You have to read the book. It's so fascinating. Um, it, I guess, to put it in a nutshell, it's very traditional in a sense. But it replaces everything in a traditional sense of crafting into modern times. So when you read a book about how to apply things today, such as this book here, it, it's just as valuable as classic text that you could pick up from... Um, from books that were that were written years and years ago, but um, it's a lot like Wicca in a way, without the religion attached to it, and without the hierarchy of people in a coven being attached to it. Because in this book, it specifically says that you don't need a coven to practice. You don't need to be initiated to practice. However, based on the Black Tree Coven, they have initiation processes. I'm sure they have hierarchies. I haven't really um, read a lot on their website. I was just so excited for the book. I went to the website and was like, I want to sign up. I want to sign up. I saw the prices. And I'm like, oh, okay, wait a minute. Let me think about this. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is what happens when you're on social security disability <laughs> for many different illnesses and um, you sell jewelry and handmade stuff and it's not selling. <laughs> hint, hint, hint. Kidding. Um, but anyway, so speaking of which, I, I do want to mention this and this is, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> This is not based on the book itself. If you live in the Orlando, Florida area, there is a a convention or a show coming up. It's called Spirit Fest. Now, I was a vendor in 2019, I want to say, and it was great. They had tarot readers, they had people doing presentations, they had workshops, they had um, various different vendors there from all walks of life, all religions, but they're having another one at the end of October, on October 30th and the 31st, and that is at the... Uh, I'm sorry. The Avanti Palm Resort, which is by Universal Studios Orlando. Um, it's off of I-4 and Turkey Lake Road. I just, I've lived here for 24 years, so. Anyway, um, I'm going to be a vendor at that event. So I'm going to be selling what you see at spiritoftwilight.com. You'll see my candles at the event. You'll see my pendants, my other handmade jewelry. Uh, by the way, the candles are 100% soy, no paraffin wax, uh, no colors either. Um, 
my tarot wrap slash altar cloths are going to be available. And I may be creating a few more things with my sewing machine. I'm not quite sure yet, but I will be there. And as the same scenario when I was Celestial Twilight back in 2019, that's a whole different story of why I changed my business name to Spirit of Twilight. But I met so many people. I had such a great time. And... Um, I loved it, and I encourage people to go, not not just because I'm there vending and I want to make a sale, and, okay, yeah, I, I have to live, <laughs> but, um, the experience was just phenomenal at that particular event, so if you actually purchase tickets, which I believe is $12 for one day and 20 for the entire weekend. Um, just Google Spirit Fest Orlando. And I'm already booked and I know several other people are booked. But you'll have the best time. You really will. Especially with the workshops, so on and so forth. But it's actually at a convention hall. So it's indoors. It's not in the heat. But anyway, come see me, please. We're they're there. That's that Saturday and Sunday. Again, it's the Halloween weekend, thirtieth and thirty first. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on. Uh, anyway, back to the book, and I apologize for that announcement, long announcement. But um, this book, um, Bethlehem, staying in sword. <clears throat> Excuse me, I ain't not sure there's like stuff in my throat, but um. You'll learn so much, and if there was a book that I would recommend for a a person first starting off in their craft, who wants a taste of everything in one publication, in one reference, this is the book to get. And this book will just blow you away. If you are a seasoned practitioner and you pick up this book because it's so forward thinking that you're going to look at your current practice and look at the old ways of how we used to do things many, many, many years ago, um, how it is modernized to fit in today's lifestyle, today's world, today's living. It's, I, I, I love this book. I really do. And, um, I can't stress it enough. I, I probably will read it again, and since I have it on the Kindle, I definitely want to get a, a hard copy for my collection, um, which is pretty much what I'm doing with the Kindle now, and then buying books on Kindle first, see if I like it, because it's not as expensive as if you buy a book. Um, and then if I like the book enough, I'll go ahead and buy the hard copy. Unfortunately, it was Charles Bogan and uh, The Secret Keys of Conjure. That was the name of the book. It was so good. Um, a friend of mine who's also another YouTuber, um, he wanted to purchase the book, but he's also a college student, so his funds are limited. So I accidentally downloaded the book on Kindle after I purchased the hard copy, or vice versa, I really don't remember. But I sent him my hard copy of the book, so I need to order another book from from Chaz. And that is definitely a book that I would keep close to hand as well, because it mirrors this book a lot based on practices and knowledge. But Chaz goes into the traditional sense as to where um, this book which Christopher or Apello, I actually follow him on Twitter and we've interacted a little bit. I never spoke to him one on one. But um it's like those two books will give you insight on the past and the present. So it's if you take those two books and you combine them into one, you would get so much knowledge between Chaz and the new book, just wow. So 
So I love them both, really. Um, so definitely, if you get your hands on either one, if you buy one, I recommend buying the other, just because they mirror themselves or mirror each other very, very well. So anyway, enough of me for the day. <laughs> if you like this video, please click on subscribe, please click on like, please share this video. Um, I greatly appreciate it, most definitely. Just to get my name and my wording and my videos out into the world so more people can see them. Um, but certainly if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them down below. Um, I will put as many links as I can possibly remember down below as well. So certainly you can follow both those wonderful people, both Chaz and also the authors of this book, Christopher and Tara on Twitter. So, by all means, um, please do. They're such, such great people outside of their craft um, and also within their own craft. But thank you once again. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.